viewer, you might be wondering what's cooking. Today, we're gonna talk about why your food ain't good looking. Problem is, everything on your plate is already oxidized, and you don't even know that your health is being jeopardized. Keep listening if you want to hear the simple truth. The process of keeping your youth is very smooth. Merry Christmas, everybody. But, as you know, we're not interested in Christmas, we're interested in health. And that's why you clicked on this video. And that is why um, you've already read the title. And so I'll get into basic chemistry and cholesterol, because we're going to start with an example. Now, just to introduce cholesterol, it's a basic building block. It's present in all of your cells, and without it, you would die. It's produced in your liver, but you can also get it in through your diet. And eggs contain a lot of cholesterol. And you'll understand why I said that in a moment, because we are going to cook an egg together. So we have an egg here. And we have a pan, we have the heat switch here, and we have oxygen in the air. And so I'm going to crack this egg into the pan. And um, lo and behold, we didn't turn the heat on. So the egg is still raw in the pan. Nothing's happening. It's not reacting with the oxygen in the air. Now I'm going to turn the heat on. Boop. We turn the heat on. And now the egg is sizzling and boof, a few minutes passed, and now the egg is cooked. Voila, you see that? Here's the egg. Um, I know it's a hand. You have raw meat here instead of a, an egg, but oh well. We cooked the egg, it's a cooked egg. Now what happened? The egg reacted with the oxygen in the air because we turned the heat on. And so let me ask you this. What happened to the cholesterol? The cholesterol also reacted with oxygen. Now let me ask you another question. When your liver produces cholesterol, does it let it react with oxygen in the air before being used in your body? No, absolutely not. So now do you know why people get heart attacks from eating a lot of dietary cholesterol? Because the food is processed. It's oxidized. It has lost all of its, you know, properties. I mean, if, if we were supposed to eat cooked oxidized cholesterol, your, your liver would be producing oxidized cholesterol, but it isn't. So what's the solution? Eat raw eggs, raw animal products, because the nutrients are intact. And yes, this doesn't only apply to cholesterol, which is a normal nutrient, i.e. your body can produce it. This also applies to essential nutrients, which your body can't even produce. I mean, you're still getting raw cholesterol from your liver, but you can't get raw B12 and B6 and raw minerals um, if you're gonna cook all of your food. So no one is getting enough nutrients. I mean, even if you're eating healthy, because you're cooking everything, People are bacteria crazy nowadays. And that's the next thing we have to talk about. When you hear raw, you're gonna associate it with veganism because vegans have this raw thing going on, not the carnivores. And um, two things, two things are important here. One, you can't be a vegan. You can't be a raw vegan. If you want me, I can make a video about that, but if you go vegan, you'll die. We don't want this video to be too long, so I'm not gonna go into that. And number two, you're scared of bacteria, so you're not, on, you're not considering all of the raw options here. Now I'm gonna tell you this before we end the video, because this is a very simple topic. I've eaten raw meat since November 2019. I've eaten raw chicken too many times to count. Nothing has ever happened to me except feeling much better and regenerating much faster okay and so you're scared of bacteria you're saying okay this guy's crazy he's gonna die well i've eaten raw meat for two years and nothing has happened to me so am i the one lying to you or is the government the fda lying to you you decide for yourself. In the next video, I'm going to talk about bacteria so that we can clear that topic out because we can't continue unless we do that. And in the future or after that, I might make a video about water 
why you should drink less of it, and what you should be drinking instead. And um, yeah, a video about veganism, telling you why it doesn't work. Over not for now.